What is going on guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo and long time no see. Welcome back to Evolve. Today we're checking out the decaying fierce deity of an assault, Lennox, the old lady herself. She is a menace of a grandma stuck inside a giant mechanical suit. Kind of looks like a big daddy from hell and she's wielding a plasma lance and auto cannon, thunder strike, and of course the personal shield. Hopefully this gets us back in the swing of things. It is the 17th hunter to be unveiled. The first of tier 5 and the first of the season 2 hunting pass, which of course I have. I'm going to put some, uh, some reload speed on her so we can use all of her gear real nice and quick. An interesting squad here that has been assembled for us and we'll take on the Kraken in 3, 2, 1. One. Hopefully you guys are excited to see this back. If you are, definitely leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you may want to see more of. A couple new skins have come out that I'd like to show off. But first, let's check out what the first female assault has to say about monster hunting. Lennox is the assault hunter and the damage dealer in the group. Use Thunderstrike to close the distance and damage nearby targets. When in close combat, use the Plasma Lance to deal great damage. Each consecutive hit multiplies the damage. If an attack misses, is interrupted by damage, or times out, the multiplier returns to normal. The auto cannon is great at long range. Press the fight with Lennox by using the personal shield. Wait until the monster is attacking, then activate it for temporary invulnerability. Anyone ever tell you you look just like Griffin Halsey? I am Griffin Halsey. You are Griffin Halsey. Holy crap, I didn't know you were still alive. Yeah, me neither sometimes. Wow, I didn't think I'd ever meet anyone as famous as I am. You're oh, famous? Dang. I... I thought I was. We get the first voice sample of Lennox and she fills the role of kind of the most melee uh, focus hunter of the bunch. You saw there uh, with the Plasma Lance, which has a strange multiplier. I put us on Aviary, by the way, so you could get a clear view of all of her abilities. Um, and then with that big ground pound attack, she's bringing a new kind of heat that hasn't been seen since last summer, or ever before in this game, considering it didn't even exist uh, in retail form since last summer. Alright, and her main attack is the Plasma Lance, of course. Um, but then we can switch to this auto cannon. Uh, which is going to be... Okay, it, it's if you click it, nothing happens. You do have to hold this, which is interesting. Um, and then it's got quite the reload on it. Uh, let's see if we can... Alright. Let's see if we can take this out. Can I lance this guy? Remember, you've got a multiplier, and it does more damage the more strikes you get. Alright, cool. Give me a buff. Oh, increased damage output already for the giant heroine herself. Um... I don't know if she's any slower. She feels like she's lumbering along. There's a nice vibration effect to every single one of her steps. I kind of want to just check out all these attacks. That's her Thunder Strike uh, that will recharge. It looks like the recharge on is decently long, so we're going to want to be careful of that. If we want to come in and, and direct hit the monster, the only character in the bunch that is looking to do that, right? Everybody else is kind of just not wanting to, uh, to cause specific conflict. But we, on the other hand, as Lennox here, are ready to go all in. A little bit of direct mano e mano CQC action. Uh, the monster is near Kraken. Probably has a uh, headed back to the main now aviary here. here. Alright, no, I don't. I, I'll take my damage output, Lennox, if we can get there. I haven't played Hunters in quite a while. You guys know I normally rock with the monster um, to bring you guys like new skins and, and new strategies or whatnot. And I have missed Evolve. I haven't played it in quite a while. Been obsessed with Batman, but it's good to be back. This game kind of feels like home in a weird way, um, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of Season 5 whenever that may come out. Also, I wanted to pique you guys' uh, interest um, to, to Battleborn, which is 2K's new uh, multiplayer game coming out later this year. I played that a bunch at E3. It's freaking amazing. I think it was my E3 game of show. Uh, man, any issues you worried about content with Evolve have been remedied for this one. I mean, obviously totally different developers, Gearbox versus Turtle Rock, but in terms of the... Oh, there we go. Hey! In terms of the uh, the early game plan for that guy, you've got 25 characters right from the start, which is you know a, a bunch. They all they'll probably be DLC eventually, but 25 from the start with unlockable skins and all that. We've got Kraken in here, and uh, I want to get this Thunder Strike on this guy. Oh baby, okay, I missed. So it's kind of hard. I wonder if you can aim it a little better than I have been. But we deal significant damage with this Thunder Cannon or Auto Cannon or whatever it's called. Thunder Strike is the other thing. Let's even get this Plasma Lance. There's one. 
you can be pretty decent distance from it. Three and a four play, destroying the monster. I am the Impaler, and then I guess the multiplier just keeps up until we miss. Uh, can we aim this Thunder Strike? Oh, yes, we can. Boom, crushing right down into the Kraken. Oh my god, look at that, three times and then a miss. Holy crap. Lennox is pretty dang powerful, and I've, I've learned to love the Assault much more than I did uh, early on in my Evolve days, and so I could see Lennox becoming my go-to, because I like dealing damage, I like being brutal and up close, and I think this could be the way to go. Um, thanks for the extra health, Lazzy. Don't even need it. I think we're going to take Kraken down here in the first dome, which means we'll probably bring you guys a second round uh, with Lennox. I am using her Victory skin, which came with the purchase. Um, you can buy her individually or as part of this Season Pass. Um, I've got the Season Pass, but you could do it either way. All right, Kraken is probably busting out of the dome. It looks like she may or he may live another day or not. Hey! Get back, get back. Uh, my range is not as far as I wish it was. Okay, I can cancel that out with a... Weapon switch. Alright, she's this way, he's this way. I don't know why I keep calling her a she. Maybe it's the freaking wimpy way with what she started. He started the round off. We're gonna come straight for him. I do have that damage multiplier, which is obviously critical. Uh, but nonetheless, Lennox seems very strong. Uh, I didn't even use my personal shield, but you could envision tactics where you combo the Thunder Strike with the Plasma Lance and the personal shield for maximum damage. So you Plasma Lance once, Thunder Strike again, Plasma Lance again, and it works wonders. There is the freaking Kraken again, and I'm gonna switch. I like her just, how she can switch between, you know, range, not range, and kind of do a little bit of everything, um, which is, you know, a lot of these later hunters seem to be just so super strong, but they've done a nice job of balancing um, so that nobody is too OP. Like, I played the tier four hunters and Behemoth, uh, before they were released, and there was some stuff that needed to work, but to me it feels like they made all the necessary changes, um, which I really appreciate and give them a bunch of credit for. This Plasma Lance, like, I'm trying to gauge the range on this thing. Oh, God. Uh, and it's shorter than you would like, but longer than you might think. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, I'm going to cast my shield here so I can stay alive. I've got low health. It'd be great for Lazarus to get in here and heal us up. But I wanted to make sure I stayed alive there. Um... I'm guessing Kraken. Thanks. There's wildlife, and there's also a flaming pit of fire. What the heck is this pit of fire? I don't remember ever seeing this on the map. Um, Griff, I mean Laz, can I get a burst? Heal me, heal me, heal me. I'm working with AI right now just to make sure um, I was able to be the assault class sometimes, you know, with the preference system. You're not able to be who you want, and I want to make sure I got this video out for you guys. I know I'm a little late on it, which I do apologize. Like I said, I was at E3, so I was gone for a while, um, and then I've just been really busy with Batman, but I will not let this thing go unnoticed. I'm trying to stay by the uh, Tyrant, which is smart of the monster. Always a good idea. Um, I got a little glimpse of the fifth monster. I don't know if you guys have seen that. There is a trailer that shows um, a little bit of it, and it's definitely like some humanoid spider demonic creation <laughs> looks like something out of doom um but it definitely definitely is coming uh, i just don't know when exactly i've heard rumors that it's coming later than than sooner which would kind of stink but we'll see what they do uh it's interesting that with tier four they release the hunters like all at once um, and this time they're going for like a total separate uh revelation of the quartet um, which, I don't know, in a way it's kind of cool because then it gives you more opportunity to come back to the game. One thing I've loved about Splatoon this year is, like, uh, gaming by appointment, basically, where you want to keep coming back because there's always something new. And I kind of like the idea that, oh, I could check in every few weeks um, with Evolve because of a new character. Now, I would rather it be every week. Like, hey, five weeks of DLC, that sounds more like a, a season pass to me. And if I was going to do it, that's how I'd approach it. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers, and at least we're getting a bunch more stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and... Bring a lightning strike. You ain't got the prowess of Ghost Robo, though. Your aim is in slow-mo compared to what I could do to you. All right, get out of here, Mammoth Bird. I know you killed me as Behemoth on that one live stream, but I'm not going to let it happen again today. Um, my team is nowhere to be found. I really like Lennox so far. And I've seen a lot of you requesting... Um, oh, Monster of the Dome. Okay. In? Yes. I've seen a lot of you requesting this video, so hopefully you are happy that it's finally here. Like I said, sorry for the little bit of delay on it. Oh, yes, smashing in for monster damage on the monster, because I'm a monster myself. Uh, you can see the multiplayer went away there. The Plasma Lance. Mm. Two. Two. Three. 
Can we get the fourth? Nah! No, we missed. All right, but it's okay. Slashing away and thunder striking. That's not what we want to do. But we got the monster. Good night, crack a lacquer. Siphoning all of your strength straight out of your bones with Lennox, the old lady assault. Cannot believe that someone who's a senior citizen can pack that much punch, but she is pretty darn cool. And Kraken survived longer than I expected. Uh, and we grab another new ability. I still have not leveled up level 40. I don't know how. I, I feel like I always do well in this game, but uh, you can see there's Lennox Elite Skin. Auto Cannon, Plasma Lance, Thunder Strike. Um, I gotta say, like, the Plasma Lance is pretty sweet. I think it's the biggest game changer of a, of a weapon. But Thunder Strike is very interesting as well. The fact that you're able to do, like, a direct melee hit to the monster. You can see instances where, like, someone like Griffin could pull in the monster and then Lennox can come in, activate the personal shield, jump on the monster, and start lancing away, which could be, like, a really deadly and crazy combo. One that could deal out massive damage. Um, I think she's gonna get... I don't know if she'll get as much play, because she doesn't have as much distance for, for like, competitive... Um, as obviously some of the others, but I can definitely see in just sort of like public matches her being really fun to use and she's definitely one of my favorites to use already and that's only after one round. So let me know what you'd like to see more of in the comments down below if you want to see more monster skins, if you want to see more Lennox gameplay, if you want to see a variety of things, uh, I'd love to bring back Evolve to the channel. It's one of my just seriously like favorite games of the last decade and I'm sad to see that it hasn't got as much long lasting love as I feel it deserves, but I do know that they are pretty happy with the sales, um, and so that gives me hope and promise for possibly the eventual Evolve 2, uh, which would be like a dream come true, especially if they rework a little bit of it. I think that game could be a monster of a hit. Like, really, Evolve, to me, could have gone either way. I think this game could have been one of the biggest games uh, of the generation, and unfortunately, a couple things held it back. Nonetheless, Lennox is a step forward because she's a unique and fun and effective Hunter to use. Let me know what you think of her in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy Evolve and my content. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for always supporting this series. It has been one of my favorite and one of the best on the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, drink so much. Thanks again, and we will see you all later.